Hi, I'm Stephen from 9.8. 9.8 offers slacker angle set kits to fit almost any bike. These kits allow you to change the head tube angle of your bike to change its geometry and handling characteristics. These days, many riders are looking to slacken their head tube angle for a more modern geometry, but occasionally people need to steepen their head tube angle as well. Slacker can do both. Here's a chart showing the various slacker kits that are available. In this video, we will show you how you can tell which kit is correct for your bike. There are two general categories or standards for mountain bike headsets. The integrated standard, also called IS, and the press-in cup standard, either called ZS or EC. We have slacker kits for both but they are not interchangeable. You must select the correct style of slacker for your headset on your bike. This bike has an integrated standard or IS headset. Notice that there's no bearing cup supporting the outer race of the bearing. Unless you can get very complete manufacturer information, you should remove the stem and fork to inspect the headset. The frame itself has the precise features that set the outer race of the bearing. If your bike is like this, you need an IS slacker. The outside diameter of the top bearing is usually either 41 or 42 millimeters. You need to figure out which. Remove the top bearing and measure its outside diameter. This one measures 42 millimeters, so it's an IS 42. Note that IS-41 bearings measure 41 millimeters and IS-42 bearings measure 41.8 millimeters. The most common lower bearing by far is 52 millimeters outside diameter. Check yours. 9.8 only makes slacker kits for lower bearings with 52 millimeter outside diameter. Some frames have an excessively narrow throat diameter through the minimum bearing seat. The IS slacker requires 34.5 through the top and 44.5 millimeters clear through the bottom. Measure this while you have the fork out. This bike has a throat of 32.6 millimeters at the top, which means it will need a little sanding or boring to accept the slacker. This will not compromise the frame. Before going any farther, you should check that you have enough steer tube length. If your steer tube has been cut, you may not be able to use a slacker. If your bike is a specialized, you need to check if the top bearing is inset deep into the frame. If it is, you should choose the IS42S slacker. If your top bearing is not inset, regardless of the bike brand, then you will choose either the IS41 or the IS42 slacker. The last thing to check is the head tube length, sometimes called HTL. Measure this. Knowing the bearing diameters and the head tube length, you can select the change in angle that you want. Let me demonstrate by ordering a slacker for this Rocky Mountain frame. We've measured the top bearing as 42 millimeters, the bottom bearing is 52 millimeters, and the head tube length as 110. The selector tool on the website will offer all kits that meet your specifications. But note that if you have a head tube length that is right on the edge of the recommended kit range, installation is more fiddly. The easiest installs come from kits where your head tube length is somewhere in the middle of the kit range. When you make your choice, you can add the kit to your cart. Note that the IS slacker kit reuses your bearings. If your bearings are poor, you should also order replacements. Replacement bearings are not included in the IS slacker kit. This bike has a press-in threadless cup headset. It's an aluminum cup. It's pressed into the frame, and the cup supports the outer race of the bearing. The cup may be either external cup, EC, like on this bike, or zero stack, ZS, 
sometimes called internal threadless, like on this bike. But the zero stack ZS cups have only a very thin lip that's visible. And most of the cup and bearing are hidden down inside the frame. It's easy to mistake a zero stack cup as an IS or integrated standard headset, but they are not the same. Once you know that your bike has press in threadless cups, you can proceed to choose which slacker kit you want. You should check that you have enough steer tube length for the slacker. If your steer tube has been cut too short, you may not be able to use one. The formula accounts for various combinations of ZS and EC cups. See 9.8.ca for details. Unless you can get very accurate and detailed information from the frame manufacturer, you need to measure the press in cup size. Use an extractor to tap your cups out of the frame a little, then you can measure the cup diameter. Slacker kits are available for the most common combinations including 44mm top cup and either 49 or 56mm bottom cups. You may wish to take the cups right out of your frame to check that the frame has sufficient depth available. Most frames do, but there are some that have a shallow cup seat. Both slacker upper and lower cups require a bore in the frame that is at least 14 millimeters deep. If your bore isn't deep enough, then you will need to ream the bore deeper before installing the slacker. Now you know how to pick the right slacker for your bike. Go to 9.8.ca to order. You will also find installation instructions and videos there. And you can always contact support at 9.8.ca for help or advice.